Hey, what's going on there, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Blazing. My name's Jonathan Snow, and today, guys, we are here. We're actually the, we're actually going to awaken the new unit, Ren. Um, I am actually really psyched to actually awaken her, so we're gonna go straight into it. We're gonna take a look at her character as well as her strength that she is um, at a five star. Then we're gonna fully level her up to a six star. We're gonna see where her max strength is, and then we should. I'm gonna do something new. I'm actually gonna go ahead and. Um, Cut the video in and out to show you guys her jitsu, her two jitsus exactly. Uh, see what they look like, see how she sounds, and then uh, then that's gonna be the video. So let's just get this started. Here we go. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna check her out to see exactly what she does. Um, see her strength at five stars, and then compared to her six star version. So here we go. We're gonna take a look at five star Ren, Ren Nohora. I hope I said that right. So, she's kind of weak uh, strength-wise, but she's definitely high in uh, health-wise. You can see uh, 1648 health, um, strength uh, 1068. So, she's definitely just a unit just to sit in the back pretty much. Her field skill reduces skill element damage by 10 to 15%. Buddy skill 10% chance of dodging an attack. So, if she sits behind a unit, you get a 10% chance of dodging. So, that's actually pretty good. Um, I, think, I think Kakashi also has that ability, if I'm not mistaken. And then... Her first uh, jitsu is restore uh, 2,550 health for one ally. She is great because of that. Um, oh, wow. Because she's a blue unit. We never had a blue unit that actually heals like that. Um, there is a blue Sakura that she does like 120 heal just by standing out in the field. But normally you really don't want that type of thing. So here we go. We're going to see uh, what her um, six star version looks like. We're going to fully level her up. And then we're going to discuss exactly what type of improvements that she got. So here we go. This is my favorite part. I love awakening these uh, these units. And then you see how awesome the picture. Look, look at that picture. Awesome, man. I love it. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and we're going to, um, before we check her out, we're going to go ahead and fully level her stats up really quickly. So we're going to go back to team. We're going to go to enhancements. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and find her. Luckily, I found ramen earlier in the day. Um, we also have a lot, all the ramens back, which is fantastic. Uh, great for two days. So I guess that's our New Year bonus, I'm assuming. So I, I think it takes four four-star ramens to fully max her out. Yes, it does. So we're going to level her up now. All right, success. All right, so now for her final stats is 2188 health. So she's gone up, what is it, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, what, 500 health, which is great. She got an extra attack, an extra 500 attack, so 500 everywhere, which is pretty nice. Her skill, um, it was 10 to 15, now it's 15 to 20%, now it's a 15% dodging rate, which is great, so an extra 5%. She heals 3,000, that's insane. <laughs> 3,000, and then she unlocks her Three Tails Rampage. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to cut the video now, I'm going to show you guys exactly what she does, um, both her first aid and her three tails rampage, so stay tuned, it's going to happen right now, so be back. Alright guys, so we're back, we're going to go ahead and we're going to actually do her healing jitsu for the first time, so let's check her out, let's see what she does, so you have to go to somebody else on your party, and then we're going to see what happens. Careful! Come on! Okay. So not too bad, 3,000 health. Now we're going to come back and we're doing the ramen red mission. And we're going to come back and we're going to see her ultimate jitsu. So be right back. Alright guys, so we're now we're back. to We finally have enough chakra to do her ultimate jitsu. Here we go. This She's going to go into three tails uh, mode. So here we go. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Actually, that range is just like the one tail Gara. Uh, the Jinjukuriki, Jinju whatever you want to call oh, I I'm sorry, I butchered that name. Here we go. Bro, <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. That is actually pretty awesome, to be honest, man. Uh, I'm really psyched that I finally do got her on the team. Definitely, if you're able to pull her, definitely fully uh, level her up, awaken her to her six-star status. In my opinion, she's definitely a must-to-have. Definitely, especially for those um, times when you have the, the, the um, what do you call it, those missions where it says you only need a blue team only. So she'll definitely fit in perfectly. So she could just be your attacker as well as a healer. So she is not that bad. So 
definitely, I definitely give Ren a thumbs up for her, uh, you know, uniqueness. And that Three Tails Beast mode, that's pretty sick. So, that is it, guys. My name is Jonathan Snow. I'm out of here for another um, a character analysis slash awakening video. Um, hopefully, let me know what you guys think about these type of videos with their jitsus at the end of the video. Um, hopefully, if you guys do like it, I will continue doing it uh, like I'm doing it now. So, I'll see you guys next time. And uh, peace out.